You've got the solemn countenance for this game, lad. I'll give you that. If that face gets any longer, you'll fill the back of the earth. Well, can you blame me looking at these figures? You'd be burying this place if you carry on like this. <laughs> I'll not be picking out brass handles quite yet. You won't be able to afford them. You'd be looking to stretch to a penny on each eye the way you're going. Trade's been brisky enough. Your trade has, maybe. Payment hasn't. Look, you can't pressure someone for money in the darkest hour. Face with a grieving widow, you give her a box of tissues, not a final demand. Our outgoings are way ahead of our income. You can't run a business this way. My father did. And that's why generations of the same families come back to Shuttleworths, because our customer service is second to none. There's a difference between customer service and charity. Look, folk generally cough up in the end. Just have to be patient, that's all. Right, I'll be in the back if you need me. You can't keep this up, George. You go, you go under. Six feet under. 87, well, you don't sound it. But I said you don't sound it. Y you don't... <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah, I, I need to take a down payment so that we can uh, proceed with the arrangements. Yeah, have you got a card? No, no, not on the mantelpiece. A, a credit or debit card. Yeah. Oh, well, um, you see, the sooner we take payment, the sooner we can give Gordon... The... Sorry? Oh, yeah, but Leslie, le uh, the uh, send-off he deserves. All right. Y you take your time. What's this in aid of? Random acts of kindness. I am capable. Of course. Sorry, I've been on calls like this all day. I'd say it's like pulling teeth, but I doubt she's got any. She's not got a son or daughter who can deal with it. It was her name and number on the booking. You're better off dealing with her face to face. I mean, it's easy for misunderstandings to happen with punters of this age. I know from the cab office. Oh, it's not a misunderstanding. It was her name on the booking. She needs to pay the deposit. Well, why did George not take it? Well, if it was up to him, no one would pay a thing. He's too soft. People take advantage. Just didn't seem the type. Look, I'm doing her a favour anyway, spreading the payments. This way she doesn't get a big bill once Gordon's in the ground. Leslie! Oh, whatever. Oh. As long as George is happy. He'll be ecstatic once he sees his books. Oh, hello, Mrs. Lloyd. Did you find it? Three cats, what?